Bamboo AMS HT, which stands for high temperature, as this one goes to 85 Celsius. Unlike the other one, which only goes to, I think it's 65. This has been purchased out of my own money. little user manual, some desiccant bags, and your power lead. Let's quickly take the um, sticky stuff off to protect it, which is a bloody pain by the looks. Here we go. Right, I'm a bit disappointed that this hasn't come with the um, six pin lead to connect it. I'm gonna have to get in touch with Bamboo about that because when I looked it said it was um, included. And it's only got the power supply lead and that. So yeah, I'm going to get in touch with Bamboo now and see what they say about it because I was under the impression it came with it. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but their website certainly specified that it comes with it. There's your vent holes, but there we'll get more into that a bit later on. But yeah, a bit disappointed because I can't get it up and running at the moment now. Quick look at the quick start guide. Yep, included accessories, six pin, six pin adapter lead, which I didn't have. I've had everything apart from that. So time to get in touch with Bamboo. Just check the box, it was in the side. So if you get one and wonder where it is, it was in the corner by there. Yes, I cocked up, but at least I'm honest about it. Thankfully we've got it so we can get it up and running so I can show you it working. I think we can pop the roller out, yeah. We can stick one of these desiccant bags or two of them. They can be stuffed down in there. Stick the desiccant bag in there and what I will do is 3D print um, two desiccant holders that will go in the centre of the spool of the filament. But it's better than I think. I will show you as well, probably in a new video, how to connect this to my other AMS without the um, four port um, buffer box that they charge 50 quid for. I will just power it on quickly with the power supply just to make sure everything lights up before I get into installing it. And the good thing with this, it doesn't come with a power supply brick like you need for the AMS tool. This is actually supplied, it's just built in. Okay. 
connect the PTFE tube to the back just by pushing it in that's locked solid if you need to take it out just press the button and pull connect the lead into the back Connect your six pin connector into the back and then this will go back into this AMS by here. Oops. Which a good thing is you only need the power lead for the drying function as you can see works perfectly just daisy chained. No need to buy the expensive adapter, which is £50, when you can just use a four pins, um, a four-way splitter that I will show you in a separate video. But I will plug the power lead in just one second so I can show you the heating function. This Panda touchscreen is a waste of time, basically. For the simple fact is, it only shows one AMS. It keeps giving me error messages when there's nothing wrong with the printer. But if I go into the settings, you can now see I have dry in function enabled for the um, AMS HT. AMS HT available. So everything is working perfect there. And then you would set your dry in functions and everything there. Just to show you, going to devices, you can clearly see both AMSs are detected in the software. That's the AMS HT, the new one, and that is my old AMS with the four filaments. So everything is working perfect. I'll just pinch a roll of PLA out of the main AMS a second. Just so we can test. I'll pop a roll in and if we go I'm not going to have it on for 12 hours I'll just do it for one hour just so you can see and then click start drying just telling you there to remove the filament and store it Basically just take the end out and put it, wrap it around. As you can see now, there's the time left for the drying. Only put it on for one hour. Current temperature in the AMS, obviously that's gonna go up shortly. And your relative humidity, which will come down. You can see the temperature starting to climb now. And also it's showing the temperature climbing on the um, P1S little screen. Like I said, this Panda screen, it's okay. I had it for free to um, do a review, but it doesn't have half the features. It's only showing me one AMS when, as you can see, clearly see now, it's got two and it's working. And I'll show you on the PC in a minute that both AMSs are active and being seen by the computer and the software. Unless there's a firmware update for this that I don't know about. The temperature is climbing nice now. Humidity is dropping. And we have just under one hour left. Obviously you would dry it longer than that if you needed to dry your filament. But this is just for demonstration purposes. It is up to temperature now. It's got 50 minutes left. I'm not going to do it all the way through because this filament is dry. It was just to show you. And the humidity is drop in and obviously the longer you leave it the um, more the humidity will go down see what I mean about the bamboo screen it keeps crashing all the time but yeah PLA is 45 degrees if you went to something like PA which um, nylon 
that would set you to 85 degrees. ASA, 80 degrees. PET G, 65 degrees. And as you can see, just scrolling down through, you've got all the filaments you want. TBU, which would be Andy, 75 degrees. So yeah, for little money, it's a great little unit. Well recommended. If you liked the video, please leave a like and please subscribe. And hopefully I will catch you on the next one. And like I said, I will have another video coming out shortly showing you how to connect two AMSs without the expensive £50 buffer.